Hey guys, welcome to Motion Gaming. Uh, just a quick video today explaining a few of the balance changes coming in 0.6. Uh, if you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you want to find more, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'll leave a link to these patch notes in the description below if you want to read all of them, but I have basically all of the good bits all in one video ready for you. Some of the important notes which won't be mentioned in the patch notes are audio settings. They have been reset with the new patch. This is to activate voice chat by default, but they will have reset all of your audio options, so make sure you check those. Uh, there's new match variations which will be coming, they're calling them mutators, so it will be something like no entity in the match, uh, or all locations will be high tier loot. Uh, wall jumping in the lobby is being worked on, it's not quite ready yet, but it will be coming. The in-game report system and feedback when someone gets banned from your report is coming, it's being worked on, it's just not quite ready. The early access battle pass will be PC only. PlayStation 5 will relaunch with a new season, which could give us an idea of a possible launch date. Uh, controller optimization will be coming with PlayStation 5. It will be fully optimized for release, and we will have those optimizations for PC. Tracker network full integration has been done. Uh, they're currently doing beta testing, but it will be coming soon. The store won't be getting any bigger, but it will be changing faster. Uh, this update won't be coming with the 0.6, but whenever the store refreshes. They have confirmed more archetypes and clans to come, but the big point here, more archetypes. So I think there's going to be more Bruja, more Nosferatu, and more Toriador. The Halloween events which are currently in-game, and the ones being added in 0.6, will be live for a while, so don't worry if you can't get around to doing the challenges immediately. Custom games are being worked on at some point, but they're not ready yet. It's a lot to take into account. There won't be any rejoin after a crash in public matches, but they will be in ranked. Maybe not in the first iteration, but they are working on this. Uh, some of the things to gloss over in the patch notes before we have a look at the balance changes are going to be the three daily items. Uh, if you log in daily, there's going to be a free item there. These are going to be exclusive to early access. They won't relaunch afterwards. They're free. You just need to log in and go to the store and collect them. Uh, the duels mode, that will be live. They're going to do about an hour worth of testing after the patch goes live before activating duos. Uh, they may have to take this out depending on if the patch is stable or not. Uh, kill credit has been changed, so whoever downs the person will be awarded the kill. Uh, whoever finishes the player will get an assist. Uh, this still counts if Red Gas or Entity or the Shark kills the player, you'll still get the kill, unless that person is uh, revived first. The gas is now going to be moving faster. There'll be some new named locations in the map. New players will be getting bots in the first few matches of their game. They're called Cultists, you will be notified if they are present in the match beforehand. Uh, the config files are going to be changed, you won't be able to disable the gas as some people have been. Uh, we have got some resonant buffs here, going from 60% spawn to 80% spawn rate. Basically means you can find the resonance you want a little bit easier. Uh, especially the Sanguine one has been basically almost doubled. Well, the first one has been doubled, so one hit point per second. Uh, it's definitely going to be a good one to grab. Uh, Prouder and Saboteur, I wouldn't say nerfs, just the max duration of things have been shortened. This shouldn't really make a difference to gameplay. Torador with a bit of a quality of life change, the projection won't disappear until you go a certain distance horizontally, before this used to take into account vertical as well. Uh, Siren's nerf, the incoming one, we knew this was happening, the slowdown is going from 50% to 15%. Uh, it's basically a little bit too powerful currently, but this should fit, sort it out. Uh, ranged weapons, this is where the stat sheet is going to come into play. Uh, SMG has been nerfed, damage has gone down. The LMG has been buffed, damage has gone up. Uh, Revolver has a little bit of a buff as well. This is actually a huge buff, even though it's only 5 damage. Uh, that extra bullet is going to make a big difference. Dual pistols have been buffed and nerfed at the same time, so they, they've got a damage buff, but then you can't spam them quite as quickly, which was one of the sort of cool points about that. Uh, the toggler primary mode was buffed. Uh, this was kind of a surprise to me. I thought the toggle was quite nice, but an extra hit point in damage, never going to turn that down. The burst rifle buff from 22 to 25, this was actually already in game. Uh, they just didn't officially announce it before. Uh, this was already applied in the stat sheet. Uh, marksman rifle has been uh, kind of nerfed. It's, it's been tweaked. The fire rate has gone down, but the accuracy has gone up. So it's, it's going to feel more consistent now. And then the crossbow has had kind of like a slight nerf. Uh, it's aimed down sight 
strafe speed. It's it's not a big difference. Uh, you shouldn't be aiming down sight with a crossbow anyway. Uh, melee weapons, though. This is huge. You guys don't realize. Five, five damage on a spike bat, not a big deal. The fire axe is now the new katana. It just doesn't have the, the ability to it. So I've already gone through and added in a bunch of these stats to the stat sheet. Uh, any of these weapons on the left-hand side which are in red uh, still need updating in within the fields here. So just bear in mind that if they're red, they may not be up to date. The melee weapons I have updated. I have updated the entire table here. And as you can see, the over here, the katana and fire axe both basically have the same amount of damage per hit. Slightly different time to kill, but I mean, we're talking about less than half a second difference. And you're going to be able to find it easily. Granted, you need the 50% buff, but honestly, I mean, you, you compare the stats of these two now, they, they're basically the same weapon. Pretty much. It's, they're very, very close. The main thing the katana has going for it is its ability at this point. Uh, all of these stats here, I've added in the nerfs and the buffs. These are all accurate and up to date. Oh, there's a shotgun which has gone wild here. Uh, these are accurate. Uh, I will be double checking these once the patch goes live, just in case. But everything has been added in here. So make sure you check the stat sheet. I will leave a link to that down below as well. Uh, I will sort out these red guns here as soon as possible. But yeah, that's basically 0 0.6 in a quick overview. I uh, hope you enjoy the video and catch you later.